We can QB dooby do. We can QB dooby do. We can QB dooby 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 do it. We can QB dooby do. We can QB dooby do. We can QB dooby do it all the day. My name is Balls and I like it here because I can always QB dooby dooby do it. I think I can usually cubie dooby dooby do it. My name's Doody and I love being a cubie because the things to cubie dooby do all day. We've got boilers and people and wigwams and seeds and skeeters that hum like mosquitoes. We can cubie dooby do, we can cubie dooby do, we can cubie dooby do it all the day. My turn now. Give me something blue. Buzz, bananas aren't blue. <laughs> Only joking. Well done, Buzz. Hello. 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 <laughs> We're playing the colour game. Can we play? Of course, Dink. You say the colour and we'll flip. Let's see who can be the quickest. Cubies, check. After three, Dink. After three what? After the number three. Oh, I see. The colour is green. Three. Dink, you're meant to count to three. Right. OK. Two, one, three. Dink, it's one, two, three. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes. The colour is green. One, two, three. Leaves, grass and an apple. Yes, but who was the quickest? I forgot to look. Oh, Dink. <laughs> <laughs> Where shall we go today? Let's go to the maze and have a race. The jungle's a very beautiful place. The music box is always fun. Come on, Cubies, let's choose one. Who's, Who's going, going to flip, flip their lid today, today and take us to a new place to play? I think it's my turn to choose. Yes! Go on then, go on, let's go on, yes. go on. Yes. Hello, Big Book. Let's tell the story of the wishing fish. Oh. One day, a frog went fishing and caught a beautiful shiny fish. I am a wishing fish. If you let me go, I'll give you and your family three wishes. The frog was amazed. He dropped the wishing fish back into the water. I wonder what he's going to wish for. The frog hopped back to see his wife and froggit. Guess what, Ribbit? I saved the wishing fish and he gave us three wishes. Ribbit, what shall we wish for? Shall we get a brand new stone? Ribbit, or a huge lily pad? Ribbit, should we wish to move to a bigger and better pond? Ribbit. The frog couldn't decide what they should wish for, and he wouldn't stop going on about it all night long. I wish you'd stop talking, Ribbit, said the frog's wife. Oh no! She used up one of his wishes! <coughs> ah. Oh dear! I wish you hadn't said that, said the little froglet. That's two wishes you've wasted, Ribbit. <coughs> The next morning, the frog went back to the river. He was very worried. He only had one wish left. I could wish for a trampoline to make me jump higher. I could wish for a pair of huge flippers to make me swim faster. I could even wish to be a prince. But these things might not make me happy. Just then, the wishing fish popped his head out of the water. 
So, what is your third wish? Well, we have a pond to swim in, a lily pad to sleep on, and plenty of flies to eat. We're happy just as we are, so I'm going to wish I'd never met you. That's an easy one to grant. Goodbye. The frog hopped back to see his wife and froglet, and they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Thanks, Big Book. I wish I had three wishes. What would you wish for? Three more wishes. And then what would you wish for? Three more, of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's time to see Learning Wall. There are only three shapes that are exactly the same as each other. See if you can find them. Does that mean the same colour too? Yes, Tizzy. I've got it. It's the red triangles. Well done, Doody. Of course. Sneasel, if you please. I'm going to tell you about some monsters I know. There was once a monster called Thelma by name whose children all looked exactly the same. Ooh. Duppy and Dappy and Dippity Dee. These little monsters were triplets, you see. One, two, three! <laughs> they rode in three buggies. They sat in three chairs. They each had a hairbrush to comb their three hairs. <laughs> Duppy and Dappy and Tippity Dee, you couldn't buy one thing, you had to buy three. One, two, three! <laughs> they played on three swings. They slept in three cots. They each had a jumper with polka dots. <laughs> They ran round the house shouting Wizzy and Wee! Duppy and Dappy and Dippity Dee! <gasps> Monsters are noisy! I have to agree! One, two, three! When their birthday arrived, Mum made them three cakes. She gave them three parties and got three headaches. Duppy and Dappy and Dippity Dee were all as excited as triplets could be. One, two, three! <laughs> At the end of the day, Thelma put them to bed. She read them three stories and then she said, Monsters are tiring, it's plain to see. But given the choice, I'd always have three. One, two, three! Let's play the shape game. Can I go first? Please! Please, 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 please! All right then, Tizzy. What do I have to do? You describe a shape, we flip, and you see if we get the right one. OK. The shape I'm thinking of has four sides and four corners. One. Two, three, four. And the sides mm. are straight. Ah! It's a square. Easy. That's a triangle, Dink. It's got three sides. And three points. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll go now, Dink. The shape I'm thinking of is wobbly and curvy. Is it a circle? No. What's that? 
It's a blob! It can be whatever shape it wants! Blobs don't count! Yes, they do. I like blobs. Come on, Cubies. Let's dance together! Round we go! Let's go to the music box. You flip, Doody. Ready, everyone? <laughs> Come on, Cubies. Let's go in. Oh, I don't know which room to choose. A small triangle, a medium-sized triangle, and a whopping big enormous triangle. Let's make some triangle music. We need dingers to ding them with. Pingers to ping them with. I'm going to ding this big one. I'll ping this one. I'll ping the smallest. And I'll play... Oh, there isn't one for me. There are only three triangles. And there's one, two, three, four of us. Oh, oh dear. dear. You can have a go when I'm finished, Dink. Same here. Me too. I won't be long. OK. <laughs> this is fun. I'm QB Dooby Dinging. We're, We're QB Dooby Dinging, Pinging, Tinging. <laughs> I wish there were four instruments to play, then we'd have one each. That problem's easy to solve. Of course it is! Wow! What is it? It's a honker! Try it out, Dink. It's much better than a ping. I know, Dink. We'll ding, ping, ting, and you can honk. One. Two, three, honk. Honk, Dink. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, honk. One, two, three, honk. You've got it. You can have a go on this triangle now, Dink. I've had enough tinging. It's your turn. Swap with me, Dink. No, no, swap with me first. You can all have a go. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's go and see Learning Wall. I like three. Three's a few. It's two more than one, and one more than two. Up to three's not much to count. I think it's just the right amount. When you next see three, will you please make sure that it's after two and in front of four? Of course! Sneasel, if you pleasel. Three little caterpillars climbing up a wall. Long and green and very, very small. One made a bed all snug and new. The next time I looked, I only saw two. Ah. Two little caterpillars crawling up the wall. 
long and green and very, very small. One went to sleep in the midday sun. The next time I looked, I only saw one. <laughs> Why do they keep falling asleep? One little caterpillar crawling up the wall. Long and green and very, very small. He felt all sleepy, so he shut his eyes. The next time I looked, I saw three butterflies. Wow! Mm. What's this picture of, Cubies? There's a wheel. That looks like some handlebars. Whatever it is, it's red. There's another wheel. It's a bicycle! It can't be, Boz. It's got three wheels. It's a tricycle. That's right, Tizzy. Yay! Well done, Tizzy. Some numbers were out on a fine sunny day. Two said to one, would you like to play? One turned to two and said, where's three? We can't play a game if it's just you and me. So three came out and joined in the fun. One, two and three. Three, two and one. <laughs> Goodbye, little See you soon. Now, Cubies, it's time to do some exercises. Exercises? Of course. Uh. Ready, everyone? Oh. And come on, everybody, and bend. And stretch. And now we're going to jump. And clap. That's it. And again. And bend. Oh, come on, Dink. Keep up. And jump. And for the last time, here we go, and bend. Ready to stretch, and jump. And now for the last time, clap. Yay! That was fun. So where are we going now? Let's go to the maze and take a look. Let's tell a story with Big Book. The jungle can be lots of fun. Come on, Cubies, let's choose one. Who's, Who's going, going to, to flip, flip their lid today and take us to a new place to play? Can I choose, please? Go yes, on. go on. Uh, hmm. Well done, Dink. Wow! It's, it's the, the artist. artist. Ah, Cubies, you are just in time to be in the story. Oh, yes, oh, please. Yeah, that'd be good. Once there was a village called Five Trees Hill. It had that name because there was a hill nearby with five beautiful trees on it. One, two, three, four, five. The people who lived there were happy and led a quiet life. Then, one day, a giant came to live on the hill. The villagers didn't know that this was a friendly giant. He was shy, but the villagers were scared. Look! A giant! <gasps> oh, no! One day, the giant had a very itchy back. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, ah! It's so itchy, and I can't reach to scratch. So, he pulled out one of the trees and used it as a back scratcher. A tree? He must have been strong. That's better. But the villagers were very upset. How dare he take one of our trees? He's such a nasty giant. They'll have to change the name to Four Trees Hill now. A little while later, the giant was in his kitchen when he had a thought. I need a stand to hang my mugs on. So, he went to Five Trees Hill and pulled up another tree. Oh, oh no! It made a perfect stand to hang all his mugs on. But the villagers were furious. That 
mean, horrible giant has taken another one of our trees. No, there were only three trees on five trees here. Oh, that's very sad. One day, the giant made himself a bowl of Chinese noodles. I could do with some chopsticks to eat these noodles with, he said. What are chopsticks? They are sticks you eat with like knives and forks. Oh. So, he went to Five Trees Hill and took two of the trees. The villagers could hardly believe their eyes. <gasps> this is too much. Something must be done. The bravest of us will have to go and talk to this giant. That's me. I'm the bravest villager. <gasps> Ooh. You must stop taking all our trees. Our village is called Five Trees Hill, and that means there should be five trees there, not one. I'm so sorry, said the giant. I didn't know that. I'll think of a way to put things right. Well done, Doody. It's not easy talking to a giant. So, that spring, the giant planted four new seeds in the ground. One, two, two three, four. And the seeds grew into four beautiful young trees. So now, Five Trees Hill had five trees again. That's right, Tizzy. And the villagers were happy. As for the giant, he was happy now too. And the next time he had an itchy back, he had lots of friends to scratch it for him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great story, artist. My pleasure. Bye, artist. See you again soon. Goodbye. Right then, Cubies. Everyone here? Let's do a Cubie count. One. Two. Three. Only three? But there's meant to be four of us. You forgot yourself, Boz. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I make four. Four, four cubies. cubies. Let's go. Hooray!